What's going on with Neo? We have Neo on the left and Ching Chong Changan on the right. I don't think I pronounced that correctly, oh, but we have the so. <laughs> we have the latest news right now with these two companies. Let's go. Breaking news right here. Um, Neo has said apparently it will partner with state-owned Chang'an Automobile on developing battery swapping EVs in an attempt to ease costs. Wow, this is a very interesting piece of news, guys. Yeah, what do you think about this? Do you think it's a good opportunity to buy Neo right now after this partnership or not? Let us know below in the comments and let's get started with the fundamental and technical analysis right now. Read the disclaimer, remember to subscribe to Trading HD, welcome to our family and let's go because very interesting as you mentioned, uh, we have these earnings right here, the net income of in both charts. What can you tell us about this, Alvaro? Yeah, the net income right now of, 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 the, of the company on the right, actually, you know, the, the, the partnership that we have that we have on, on taking place, that the thing mm -hmm. is like they have a net positive income, which is good, you know, like having an association with a company like this. Uh, and then on the left, we have near, we have the, this negative income. So obviously they want to reduce costs. Uh, so it completely makes sense to make that move because if, we, if they make it, they could reverse this downturn that we have right here, this downturn of losses and losses and losses. So the idea is to reverse the price of NEO with this new strategy. Exactly. I think that's uh, something that they are looking for in this partnership. Obviously, they said something about uh, related to East Coast. So probably it's in that direction of, of having better earnings and, and net income. What do you think, guys? Let us know below in the comments your thoughts as usual. Do you think this, this partnership will be positive for NEO, for both companies? What do you think? Did you know about this company or is this is just the first time that, that you hear about it? Okay, so let's go to technical analysis of NEO, what's happening right now, because we have the stock, you know, going above 7.22, which is one of the biggest support levels of this particular stock, and, and it seems it's, it's holding right now, right, Enrique? Yeah, we, we told in our previous video, uh, we had that automatic patterns, and this was kind of a, a double bottom, it, it could be this this type of pattern right here. Uh, we also have this V pattern that went down very dramatically, very, very fast. So probably we, we could see that scenario, but also we could see the opposite. That's why you have to be very clear when you make decisions, you know, in trading based on technical analysis. I think you have uh, to keep in mind that trading plan with those enter, enter positions, take profits, stop losses, or some kind of a strategy that you like. But I think this is very interesting. And, and we also have uh, the, the volume profile right here. What can you tell us about this, Alvaro? Yeah, right now it, it's trading around that, you know, the, the point of control, as they say, which is the, the, the area where, where the price is obviously the best uh, and the most possible, uh, you know. Uh, and the thing right now the, the, with Neo is like all the volume is concentrated right here. So it's very difficult to see if it's going to go higher or not. At this particular point, a uh, point I would say like between $10 and, and 7 is the most, uh, uh, you know, the most possible option right now to have the price going forward yes well we have the, the most volume trade as, as you can see with this indicator and um, also on the right we have the this uh, Chinese EV stock also the Chongqing Tangan or I don't know also if I pronounce it correctly um, <laughs> if there if we have some Chinese subscribers let us know below how it is pronounced because I think it's it should be something interesting and right here we have a very different chart you know like uh, it it is going upside, you know. We we started trading this stock in two thousand six, and it started around zero eighty more or less, and from there it skyrocketed to sixteen dollars in you know in fourteen years something like that. Yeah, sixteen years. I think this is a very interesting, you know, because obviously this company has been uh, in a very different uh, journey than 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 Neo. Very similar market, but very different story in the in the ter in terms of technical analysis. Exactly. So let's go to the forecast of NEO because uh, they, we have like a special forecast right here by analysts, you know, of, of Wall Street. So the thing here right now is like there are some differences, you know, some analysts, they, they may they think that the stock is going to $22. Others may think, you know, that the stock could go lower to 455 So I don't know if, it, if it's going to happen or not, because this is very variable. I mean, we, we, took, we, took, we could talking about a stock going more than 200% or going lower, you know, to minus 50%. So that's a huge uh, difference between the two. But the thing here is, what do you think? Do you think it's going up to 22 to $12? Or do you think it's going down? So so let us know what you think and leave your comments below. Exactly, guys. Let us know about it. And this is very interesting, you know, because we have a lot of analysts offering the, this kind of price forecast. 
uh, as usual i think this is interesting you know to have multiple point of views and to know that in trading everything can happen you know uh, the stock could go up the stock could go down and in very dramatic ways it could go up like 20 percent in a in a few months or years but it could also do the opposite you know and we analyzed uh, multiple stocks that had movements that the analysts were not predicting you know so mm -hmm. they don't have all the answers but as usual i think this is a very interesting idea you know it's like having an indicator this could be another type of indicator you know to, to have more information and sometimes the more information you have the better at, at least when you are not like collapsed with that kind of information because if you have too much information it's like you are frozen because you don't know what to decide because you say oh my god it can go up it can go down and, and you are like blocked and yeah, you know you have to try to make it simple you know because in the end the, the, you have to, to make the decision they, they, you can follow what one analyst is saying but he can be wrong you know uh, and if that happens you will be wrong too so obviously you have to do so your your research uh, and I have a, you know you have to in uh, do some research about the company about what they are doing about the current situation especially if they are in losses because they you, you have to think okay will they be able to reverse that that trend that they have right now because if they don't you don't you shouldn't enter you know in this particular stuff but if they can obviously you can find the best opportunity right there mm -hmm. yeah that's very interesting also and uh, i think that the, the idea here is that you are responsible for your trades and at the end of the day if you follow some indicator if you base your analysis on on some analysis that other analysts are offering you can do that but remember that you are at the end of the day the the you know the the one responsible for your own decisions and your trading capital and that's the idea you know if you decide buy that's because you want to if you decide sell that's because you want to and you will be happy with that decision if you base it on your own responsibility and i think that's something that is key in trading and as usual we like to share those kind of ideas in trading hd so we end this video with the technical analysis right here. We have some moving averages, the RSI, uh, and MACD, everything right here. And it's interesting to see that some of them are signaling you know, like a buy uh, signal. So all that is still to sell and some in nails. So here you have it. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe and more videos in our channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice week. Take care. Remember to let us know in the comments what do you think about these indicators, buy or sell. Let us know your opinions. As usual, welcome to Trading HD. Thank you.